But I think the simple fact is that this has been ramped up because they fear the election of a, a Labour government. And I, I, literally, I've been in the Labour Party. I joined the Labour Party back in 1969. In all that time, I've never heard anyone make an anti-Semitic comment. And literally, the, the week I was suspended, 80 Jewish Labour Party members published a letter in The Guardian saying in all their hundreds of years in the party, they'd never heard or seen anything anti-Semitic. Because if you're anti-Semitic, you're not going to join the Labour Party but for a century. The Labour Party was the political homeland for Britain's Jewish community. But it's yeah, but it isn't That's anymore. The evidence, and it certainly that. wasn't when you were in it, Ken. You ended up having a stand-up row with John Mann in the BBC, actually on the steps. You made some of your own colleagues so furious that they couldn't wait to see you out. And you and people like you hounded out some of the most uh, venerable and veteran uh, Jewish MPs like Louise Ellman. Uh, we saw people like uh, Luciana Berger being barracked when they came to a conference. It was awful, absolutely awful what was happening. And I didn't hear a word of condemnation from you. I heard you say what you said at the very beginning of your remarks, which is, oh, it was all exaggerated. No, it wasn't all exaggerated. It was a serious, serious problem, and it has not yet been resolved, despite the fact that you and people like you have been thrown out of the party.